It's time now for you to have a chat, Jude. It's time for a little bit of story time with Jude. Yeah, Dale, uh, Dale Gus, I just yeah. uh, I wanted to give you a bit of an insight. Uh, you know, everyone always wants to open up the vault of when you go away with the boys on the footy trips and things mm. like that. And we, oh, yes. 2010, <laughs> 2010, we took a, a small, a small elite crew over to uh, <laughs> to LA uh, and through to Vegas. And uh, it was in LA. How many actually. of you? How many of you? Swannies? Uh, All Swannies? Seven, yeah, seven or eight of us. So okay. Jared McVeigh, Josh Kennedy, Ben McGlynn. Ben McGlynn Oh, uh, Shane quite, Mumford, Shane oh, Mumford. Oh, the blacks on all the big Ma- cash. Yeah, no, a few quiet blacks, a few quiet personalities quite, too. Quite, yeah, really, really yeah, that, subdued, that, really. It was a great video of Mumford all those years ago. Also. Anyway, he's a, anyway. Gi- he's a giant then, don't worry. So yeah. we go we go through uh, in, in LA and we'd, we'd been out one night and we'd you know, chatting to a few people and they go, tomorrow night, Sunday night's just an epic night. Like it's one of the best nights in LA. It's a place called 14. It's now moved on, but it's on right on Sunset uh, Boulevard. You've got to get there. It starts about five o'clock. It's just the best time. So we all turn up the next day in shirts, just all, you know, done up to the nines, turn up about 5.05. And the same girl had said, uh, you know, get there. She's basically going, no, 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 you're here too early. Like, what are you doing? Like, embarrassing yourselves. Like, oh, so we man. had to go over and get a taco across the but road. But she said, she yeah, said she's, five. Yeah, we're, we're going, what's going on anyway? So we roll back in a little bit later. And they go, okay, you've got to buy a booth because you've got, um, you've got seven or eight guys there. You know, what do you, anyway, so we had to buy a booth and get in there. And so it was a three grand minimum to get this booth. Wow. It was like, oh my God. And the way we used to do it was two guys would put their credit card down and everyone would just go crazy on, yeah. on that for that night and then you're free. Anyway, so we roll in <laughs> and they, they go, so what would you like to buy? And uh, you, we have to choose now. And we're like, oh, um, just put it all on vodka, like vodka anyway. And they said, one the lady goes, well, you know, there's probably going to be some girls come over to the booth. You, you should get some champagne. Like, and anyway, I just go, oh, okay, a bottle of Dom Perignon. Anyway, oh, 750 nice, nice. US. Wow. And we're like, oh, what? Oh. Anyway, over in the States, of course, they come out with the sparklers. And it's still only 5.30 at night. We're yeah, going, what, what, is, are you what are sparklers? So what they come doing? out with the sparklers Spark- and they're, we're going, what are you doing? Like fireworks. Fireworks. Yes. Oh. It's like when you're opening up a bottle of yeah. champagne, you want the club to be going. Rock anyway, it's stuff, still yeah. only early. We're going, put it back. They're already oh, doing the sparklers. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so it comes along and we sit there and um, the, we, the place has just started to heave. Like in, a, in the space of about an hour, we'd gone from just nothing to just being packed. It was mm. just amazing. Like incredible night. Dell's never been more famous he's, on the story He's, he's ready to roll. <laughs> so we're rolling and there's a booth spare next to us. Now, this booth suddenly gets filled up by a, a, a band called LMFAO. And obviously yeah. on this, on this, you'd not know from this fame party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So LMFAO, like it's not really played on this station too often, but no. you know, at that time they're sitting there pouring shots into our, in our mouth and that sort of stuff. And we're having a huge night carrying on. Anyway, I was getting that excited. I actually picked up, uh, Brent Staker, who was there, who's a, he was the, the fame of yeah, Barry, Barry Hall. Hall. Barry Hall bang. smashed him and knocked him out yeah. at the, uh, West Coast. the against yeah, played West Coast. I picked him up. Yeah. I actually broke his ankle. Oh. I was that excited. I lift him up and shattered his ankle, oh. jumping up and around. <laughs> anyway, that was just a side story. <laughs> so we come oh out. God. We come out. Anyway, and it's halfway through the night, and the place is just packed. And I'm sitting there looking at this bottle of champagne that no one's touched. Mm. And I said, "Go to our, uh, go to our uh, waitress." I said. Can I spray this over the crowd? And oh, she goes, what, like she, Formula One stuff. She yeah. goes, she goes, and just crouch down below the desk after she's radioed through to management. Goes, yes. And I got up on the chairs like Scotty McLaughlin at at, uh, at Bathurst, and I was just spraying it across the entire crowd. And there's Nick Melcheski with a glass of uh, glass catching it off the roof of this <laughs> Dom Perignon. Anyway, six months later, when we get back, this song comes out. <laughs> Oh yeah. Anyway, we're all going. We're that's, all going. That's about us. Like yeah, all that sort of yeah, stuff going. How yeah. fun's this? Anyway, just carrying on. And then Red Foo, the guy who's on yeah. X Factor and those sort of things, got asked about, you know, where do you get inspiration from your songs? And he goes, Well, you know, Champagne Showers. I was in LA one night and I had this wet feeling on my shoulder and I turned around and there's this crazy European guy standing on top of the couch spraying champagne everywhere. Wow! And that's you! That's you! And that is me, my friends. Yeah! Anyway. yeah. Drop the mic, dude! <laughs> nice no. work!